Hi Gemini, welcome to Soul Whispers Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the month of November 2019. So if you'd like extra readings every week, which are exclusive to my email subscribers, then please sign up to, to those by clicking the link below this video. And also, please take advantage of my meditation deal, which I have going on right now. And it's in the form of a meditation kit that I've created where it's three meditations for the price of two. And I've named that kit the Manifest Your Soulmate Meditation Kit. So um, that kit is about manifesting your soulmate or your twin flame. Basically, whomever is for your highest good, whomever you're going to have a happy relationship with. So... That's three meditations for the price of two. So it's $22.22. That's US dollars. And the link to that meditation kit is also below this video in the description box. Okay, so I'm using the Rider Weight Tarot. What are your love predictions, Gemini, for the month of November? So you have the Devil in Reverse. The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Cups. The Ace of Cups in reverse. So what do we have to clarify the Devil in reverse, please? The Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. Clarifying the Eight of Wands, we have the Chariot in Reverse. Clarifying the Ace of Wands in Reverse, we have the Five of Cups in Reverse. I know some people really hate reversals, but I find them helpful. <laughs> the Queen of Cups in Reverse. What's clarifying that, please? Strength in Reverse. And what's clarifying the Ace of Cups in reverse? We have the Seven of Wands. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so let me tune into the energies for a moment, please. I feel as though... There's been someone that you've been holding on to. There's been a lot of energy within this connection. It could be somewhere where there's been this really intense magnetic attraction. But the devil in reverse, it's saying for some of you, you're releasing that person because they're not serving you. For others, this is a connection where there's just some element that are a bit dysfunctional that you're releasing. Like some of you may have been investing in certain things, certain thought patterns, certain behaviors, certain ways of communicating or miscommunication that was causing turbulence, difficulties. But for some of you, this is you literally releasing someone that's not serving you. And there's a healing of that. Maybe you were investing so much in this relationship and you, were, you weren't taking time to step back and see the bigger picture and asking yourself um, important questions, whether to keep investing in this, this relationship or to keep investing in certain dynamics that weren't helping your connection develop. So... Whatever this energy represents to you, it's releasing any shadow aspects of this relationship. It, and by that, I mean anything that's created a healthy dynamic. Um, maybe some of you, you were giving more than you were receiving. So now you're taking the time to step back um, in order to create like re redress the balance in your connection. What's really interesting is we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Chariot in reverse. So this is all about movement. This is rapid movement. This in reverse is like, 
I'd say it's still movement, but it's really imbalanced movement. This is an energy of trying to rush things. It could be an energy of trying to cut corners or burying your head in the sand about things that aren't serving you or aren't serving this connection. Um, but trying to rush ahead anyway. There may be a sexual element that you have like a sexual dynamic especially with the devil as well um, because the ace of wands is like the phallic card in the reverse position especially as the devils come out as well there could be like someone in this connection using sexuality as a way to keep you hooked on them or it could be you with them i'm not judging anyone i'm just saying what i'm picking up on um, there could be this fear of losing this person. You may feel that they're not investing in you as much as you are in them or vice versa. There's a fear that's been keeping you stuck in like this shadow side, keeping you stuck in pain or in depression or fear, a fear of losing them. But there is an opportunity here. For some of you, this is saying that if you do the inner healing work, if you love yourself, if you take a step back, then it will redress the balance. Because there could be clinginess going on and the other person is energetically being repelled. Um, you know, none of this is personal, even though it feels extremely personal in the moment, in the experience. It's an energetic dynamic is what I'm feeling. So when we come to relationships from a place of fear, it's because we believe we're not gonna receive the love that we want and that we need. So that fear is like a deep down belief that we're not gonna receive love or a deep down belief that we're gonna be rejected or abandoned. And whatever we believe is what we manifest. So for some of you, there's this connection here where you're kind of energetically tied together because you're, for some of you, you're meant to be together. But there's this disharmony going on because there's this these fears going on deep down or these insecurities that are creating a lot of movement but at the same time it's like imbalanced stuff's going on you could feel all over the place you could have an emotional roller coaster with this person because there's this focus on what's been spilled what's not working what's going wrong or what could go wrong and there's this person's not realizing that there's two cups here standing upright saying there's still the poten potential for harmony for peace for balance some of you it will be with someone else in the future you know you need to take whatever resonates with you because you know the answer in truth like in your heart in your own intuition but for some of you there's just a lot of fears ben beneath the surface that are creating a lot of upheaval and ups and downs within this connection yeah, because we had the Queen of Cups as well. This is feeling emotionally all over the place. This is someone who's offering their heart, but at the same time, this is the only Cups card where there's a lid on the cup. So someone's offering their heart, but their heart's not fully open. They're wanting to receive love, but they're afraid of fully opening the, the cup in order to receive that love. So I feel this is a dynamic of emotional unavailability, like seeing clearly that the other person is not fully emotionally available, but there may not be a realisation that your own fears are making you equally unavailable to receive. Like I said, it's like an energetic dynamic. So strength in reverse. Again, I feel like there's this inner voice because she's taming the lion, right? So I'm seeing this lion as the inner voice, the doubts, the fears coming up. And, and also the intuition is being like muzzled. Is that the word? Muffled or trying to close 
something's not allowing you to see correctly, see things clearly. And I feel it's like the inner voice, the doubts. Or for some of you, if you do need to release this person because it truly is toxic, then it's not being honest with yourself, not having the strength to be clear with yourself. But there needs to be work here on self-love, being able to give and receive love. Because, yeah, look, we have the, the Seven of Swords clarifying. This is an energy of defensiveness. And look, there's battles here as well with the Five of Wands. So feeling knocked off your feet, feeling all over the place, trying to stand your ground, trying to stay strong. This could be inner battles between head and heart. There's just so much going on. I feel like you can't see clearly. I'm going to pull out three of these lovers oracle cards. This one wants to come out. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. So yeah, I, I feel... That there's a lot of chemistry that with this person you may have met them unexpectedly cupid's arrow strikes it's like those wands like firing down and striking the target so we have look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way so yeah there's a lot of emotions emotional instability within so i do feel there needs to be in order for your love life to become more harmonious and solid and stable, there needs to be this time of looking inwards and doing the healing work. Through each other, this is called embrace, through each other you find the missing pieces. So there's a lot of lessons to be learnt with this person. And the way that you find the missing pieces within yourself is through that reflection. Seeing what's going on with this person, what's going on within the relationship is a reflection of what's going on inside as well. So if you would really like to create more stability within, more self-love, knowing your worth, healing past wounds of abandonment and rejection, which lead to that vibration of fear that keeps us stuck then I really do recommend my manifest your soulmate meditation kit and again that's three meditations for the price of two that's $22.22 US dollars check that out the link is below this video in the description box so thank you so much I'll be back again soon with more pick a card readings take care Bye.